Hey everyone, welcome back to Bucky's Customs. Hey, I'm really excited today because I got a new laser for my long mill. Now I don't have the laser from CNC Labs on the MK2. I use it on my MK1, it's a much bigger machine, bigger area to laser and I love it. The thing works awesome. But it is only seven watt and I decided that, yeah, I'll give this a try. It's 24 watt laser. And I was asked if I would do a video on how to install it on a long mill. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, I've went ahead and already installed it and went through that whole process of running wires and uh, crimping and making everything nice and neat so that you don't have to watch it. You can do that on your own. That's something that you'll have to decide what you want to do and how you want to route. It's really easy. So we're going to go through that right now. Before I get started with the install, I wanted you to listen to my machine. Before I got started doing any of these engravings, I adjusted the settings, the speed settings in the SLBs, and I think I pushed it to its max. Amazingly enough, I didn't miss any steps here. Uh, the machine sounded awful, but um, as you can see, it did come out good. Now, I did set the settings back a little bit, and I um, started to do some fill work here. I did some more adjusting with G within G-Sender, slowing the mill down, and you know, just trying to get a feel. And that's, I would encourage you all to do that. Just try to get a feel. Um, but um, I'm very impressed with the quality when I did slow it down and reduce the power. Um, I'm used to the 7 watt. So, you know, having 24 watts was just a little nutty for me to even fathom. But I got it figured out, and you'll see that in the end. I'll leave you the percentages of power and speeds there. Okay, so you can see that my long mill is on a drawer, and my MK1, MK1's there, and my MK2, obviously. Now you can see the drag chain, how I've routed the wires and did everything through there. Well, here's the control area for both my long mills and right now I only have the MK2 on which is why there's a white light on the bottom controller these are the new SLBs if you haven't already uh, switched over to these control boards I can't stress enough but um, anyway right here you can see this is the JTEC driver this here is the cable that runs from the laser head that plugs in here. Then there is a power, um, let's see, a power supply that goes to the laser port on the SLB or the control board for the CNC. And then there's power. Basically, that's it. On this side is a key which has to be on in order to operate. When you first start this up, you will have to hit this reset. You can see there's a little reset button in there. You'll have to hit that reset. And you turn it on here, hit the reset, it lights up, and you can hear the laser is running. The fans are going. It's not powered. It, it doesn't put any uh, laser beam out until you tell it to. But... Uh, my goodness, I just can't tell you how simple this install really was. Now, JTEC, they recommended this fish pump type of 
air assist and it works really well now I I put that on a remote start button so that I can activate that from over there when I start and I'm up here by the by the computers I can start that air assist and get everything started from a remote button let's show you what we do in the front here of course this I leave kind of a little slack because you know we have to raise this up and down and I didn't want to pinch it in any way so that really uh, installs quite easily you just there's a uh, fitting you just pop that over that fitting and then this the nut actually holds this on so it can't go anywhere but uh, this laser mount couldn't be any simpler it has a couple of guide screws there studs that stick out and the laser mount itself is just screw down with your uh, wrench that you would get with your long mill or your craftsman I love craftsman tools and I use this T and then you just unscrew your two mounting bolts your router would typically be in here I don't have a, a router in there um, unfortunately my router burned out but anyway that comes off you mount this plate now you'll also notice this plate is magnetic okay and that is a metal bracket in the back you just line it up and press it down and it stays put now I did put a level on this just to make sure that I mounted this correctly because there is a little play in these holes so you um, you will have to level it up and plumb it because if you don't and you're trying to cut say a three quarter inch piece of pine it's gonna give you kind of a an angled hole so um, especially if you're trying to do a square you'll end up with a parallelogram but uh, anyway uh, and ask me how I know this <laughs> so um, it, that's about it here now let's uh, let's move on we'll show you some projects and some settings that I used so you can get started now if you're ever wondering if JTEC is a laser for you and in um, in your long mill, that's your answer. It's, <laughs> this thing is so quick and easy to assemble. Um, they've done all the hard work for us by figuring out what our control boards are and how we hook things up. And if you go to their website, they'll give you a step by step on where to plug everything in and all that but it really it, it, you can't plug something in in the wrong place it's these connectors are specific and they will only plug into the specific place that they're supposed to plug in so you can't really screw this up this is so easy and if you know light burn or you um, are just starting with light burn that's all, that's really all you need for software. Lightburn is the kick-ass software for laser users, and uh, I really enjoy using that for creating all my stuff. Now, um, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the scenarios that I put together for how to use the JTEC 24-watt laser, and for cutting, for engraving, and yeah, let's do that really quick. And then we'll finish this video up. Now keep in mind you're going to have smoke with this laser. And it's, it's going to be a lot. So you're going to be able to cut wood up to a half to three quarters of an inch with this laser. So it's going to produce a lot of smoke. 
So I can't stress enough that it, depending on where your shop is, make sure you have good smoke evacuation. I chose to use my dust collection hose and my dust collectors outside, so that's where the smoke goes. For this laser, I'm going to be building a squirrel cage, like a, a furnace blower, in a box with a four inch outlet. And I'm gonna have that hooked directly to both the MK1 and the MK2. And that's how I'm gonna get smoke out of the shop in a more efficient manner. Can't stress that enough. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that was so much fun to do. And you know, to experience that kind of power, holy crap, man, it's just incredible. JTAC Photonics, go to their website. There'll be links in the description below. And you know, do what I did. I print their instructions and I read all about it. While I'm sitting down eating dinner, I'll go through some of this stuff. When I'm, when I'm getting ready for bed or going to bed, I'll read a little bit. And I usually read about this kind of stuff so that I can go to sleep with it in my head. And I hope to retain it better, I guess. But um, it gives my wife a chance to go to sleep before I start to snore. So, but anyway, check out their website. And, you know, by all means, um, give it a try. The, uh, they install real easy, as you've seen. Um, I was so amazed that I didn't do a step-by-step, -step, one right after the other, because it was just so simple. It's one wire going from the head, the laser head, to the control box, to the driver box, and um, one wire from that, to the super long board in the laser port. Now make sure, as I showed you in the, in the uh, video, that there's three spots for that, for a three prong plug. This is a two prong plug. Make sure your black and red are on the black and red side. They're kind of towards the middle of the super long board. But um, that is it, and then a power, you know, a power box. So. I'm really excited. Um, I'm excited about this project here. I was very fortunate that this timing came through where I could do a decent um, full-scale project and um, get excellent results. Um, this is something that um, is really cool and new to me. So. As we get going and in the future, I'm going to be doing more and more videos on the JTAC laser, but I'm also going to be showing you specifically how to cut with it. This thing is an amazing cutter. It'll cut through three quarter inch pine like nothing. Um, you know, it, it really does cut. So for a production standpoint, I can't wait. I can't wait to put it on my alt mill when I receive that sometime in June 
and um, just see what it can do. We pushed our MK2 to its max at one point. I thought it was going to lose steps, but it didn't. So um, the SLBs make these machines go a lot faster. Um, the alt mill is super, super fast, and it will be able to keep up with some maximum uh, speeds and uh, maximum power. So I'm looking forward to that. So hey, if you want to get one of these lasers, and I think you should, go to their website right now and check it out. Get your order in. I'm sure they're going to go fast. Until next time, be safe out there.